Hey guys, my name is Simpsy. How you all doing? Welcome to my daily FIFA 22 Juventus career mode on FIFA's Realism mod. We're playing as a fully licensed Juventus. So, the objective of this series is to win Syria and the Champions League final. Let me know as well other career modes you like me to do in the comments and feedback and suggestions. So, Juventus is fully licensed along with Roma and Lazio. We're currently playing on the light version of the Realism mod as the version 1.0 at the time of recording is still yet to be released. Okay, so here are the career settings. Ultimate difficulty, of course. Four-minute halves. We're going to go on Euros as the currency, because we're on the continent. European competition, of course. However, I do want to try and keep it realistic and sensible, and I will be turning off the first transfer window. We're only able to sign players in January, so let me know players you would like me to sign. Okay, got a bit of a tough Champions League group as well. We've got Malmo and Chelsea which will be a lot of fun. So let's save Juventus. They're in a bit of a tough spot at the moment in real life. <laughs> so let's save them. All right, here we are. Simsi being declared the new Juventus manager. But how good does the logo and fully licensed looked? Thank God I bought the PC version of FIFA. Because now... We can actually play in a proper Italian league. We've got Atalanta licensed, Lazio, Roma, and now Juventus as well. And the kits look awesome as well. So I would recommend, if you've got the PC version of FIFA, go and check it out. FIFA's Realism mod, there's already a light version already. So here are the kits. Here is Dybala, the captain. And then we've got Chesney, who is our highest rated player. So here are the kits. And we've got a hundred million euros in the bank, which we can spend in January. We could make some of my signings permanent, like Morata or Chiesa. That could be a potential option. Or we could very well maybe go out and sign a, a Paul Pogba or someone who wants to come back to Juventus. So they want me to reach the Champions League final. Hopefully we can do that in this first season. We want to try and win the Serie A win the Italian league and we definitely want to try and reach the final of the Coppa Italia. So looking at a youth academy, crikey, the the youth academy here at the old lady in Turin has really dried up. These are some absolute shocking uh, youth academy players. We're going to have to probably release the whole damn lot. <laughs> There's a lot of bad players here. Okay, so this is the team, 4-2-3-1, as defaulted. I think we can change up the formation and maybe some of the starting positions as well. So, um, for this series, Juventus, like in real life, Juventus have been playing like a 4-2-2-2. A so, we'll try and replicate their playing style in real life as best as we can. But, to be honest, they're not playing the best football. So, maybe we need to go on our own path in the future. We don't really want to particularly replicate Juventus's league form. We've also got to sort of live with life without Cristiano Ronaldo as well. So I'm really going to have to rely on Morata and Dybala to step up. So I think this is probably my best possible team. Morata, Dybala, the front two strikers leading the line. Chiesa on the left. Kulikevsky, um on the right-hand side. Arthur and Locatelli in the midfield. Hmm. I think we'll play Juan Cadrado on the right-hand side. We'll bring Regani Bonucci onto the substitutions. We've also got Moise Keane, Bernadeschi as well. Um, I think we need to bring in Rabio. We're a bit of a lopsided team at the moment. We want to try and drag down the average age as well. So I will be open to offers in January. So I think playing Chiellini and Delict as the two centre-backs... And we'll play Sandro on the left back. All right. I think I'm happy with that. So this is the first team. On the substitutions, we've got Moise Keane to come and rotate as well. Oh, he's also currently on loan as well. So he might, we might not have enough money to make all those players permanent. So we'll go through and set up my tactics for this series. Um, I want to sort of imprint my own tactics and style of play. So I'm not going to be... Like, when I was playing as uh, Barcelona, I wanted to play more possession football, play like Xavi, um, particularly with Conte at Spurs. I wanted to play more of a Conte system. But as I'm I'm playing as myself, I'm taking over Juventus. I think I want to play with my own tactics. So, 
This would be my balanced fast build-up, short runs. We might change the formation slightly in the future. I, I, I want to test out the four triple two. I haven't played with it in FIFA 22. Okay, so for my positions, I think stay central is probably the play for these guys because it can turn into a 4-2-4 essentially. So I'll get Chiesa and Kulusevski uh, to stay forward. And for my midfielders, this is what I personally love. Cover the center. This is so good. I can't recommend this enough. Cover the wing, I just don't like. You don't need to if you've got players that can track back. And you tend to press and drop back like I do uh, with my gameplay. All right, so... Yeah, so Murata and Chiesa are currently on loan. So they can be recalled at any moment. It might be advantageous for us to buy them permanently. Because, obviously, in Football Manager and in real life, there's more than likely buyout clauses in their contracts, which Juventus are probably going to, well, pay over the next couple of years. We've got a fair few players out on loan as well. I Hatterin, there's a couple of players we could bring back, potentially, if we need to, generate some funds. But we'll just have to see. Uh, there's even some younger players. Oh, look, Ravella, an absolute legend. <laughs> In my Creator Club series. Man, we won so many Champions Leagues with him. Uh, Contracts-wise as well, Morata and Chiesa's contract is expiring. Ugh, so we're going to have to... It's actually probably not a bad idea to make those signings permanent. Hmm. Uh, one Quadrado as well. We might need to sign him on a new deal, which we will. Yeah, because Dybala, Perrin, Bernadeschi, their contracts are going to be expiring within the next 12 months, so... We might as well do the right thing and sign these guys to new deals. I definitely can see myself using Bernadeschi. He's quite a good career mode player. Another player that was in my Create a Club series as well. Alrighty. Well, we've got the friendly season. We're going all the way to Japan. So here is fully licensed Juventus in those world news scenes. Uh, here we go. Look at that. Look how good it looks. The Jeep logo there. Brilliant. All right. All the way in Japan in our friendly pre-season. Unfortunately, we lost 3-2 to Liverpool. We picked up some goals, which was nice. A Chiesa brace. All right. So we we faced Urawa. Urawa? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Irawa, I don't know what that is. Japanese side. We had a match against PSG. We managed to draw nil-nil. Okay, so we've progressed to the semi-finals of the Asian Elite Cup in Japan. We play Man City. And thankfully, we managed to get the dub over them. Delict and Kulosevsky picking up the goals. We made it all the way to the final against Manchester United, and we thankfully beat them 2-1. So we won the pre-season in Japan. We were gifted the Asian Elite Cup in Tokyo. How cool is that? Alrighty, so that's basically paid for those pre-contracts we signed. Now, I'm actually going to negotiate with Atletico Madrid to try and permanently get the services of Morata. 28 years of age, 83 overall. He's not too bad of a striker. Um, it's a little bit risky buying him on a permanent deal when we don't know how he's going to be this season, but I have confidence that he'll be an okay player. But if not, I reckon we can probably get £40 million for him around the world. So... We're currently trying to get the services on him, and it's going to be a 39 million euros bid. We're playing on euros, I need to correct that. I quite often play with British sides and, and play with pounds. So, sometimes when a player's contract is expiring, within, let's say, the 12 months, they can be reduced quite a bit. We did have to slightly overspend, but we didn't have to put like 50 million pounds for Morata. I want to try him down, that time down on a huge contract just to keep his evaluation. So if we are to transfer this to him in the future, um, he will go for a lot more. So I reckon 80k on the wage and then try and remove some of these bonuses as well. Okay, so they want 90k. So that deal has gone through. Morata will be the first player officially signed, sealed, and dealed 
for this career series. So he cannot be recalled to Atletico Madrid if he gets an injury or gets dropped off in form and gets dropped. All right, we're currently trying to negotiate with Chiesa as well, but that look deal looks like it's not going through. I've gone through and done some player um, developments as well. I want Dybala to be a striker in the future. Okay, so we've got the August calendar month coming up. We have Inter Milan in a cup final coming up. Okay, it's the Supercoppa Italia against last year's league winners. Massive test here, first match of the season. We face Inter Milan without Antonio Conte and Lukaku. They've still got Dzeko, Martinez, and a fair few strong players. Here are the three kits. Um, I'm nearly tempted to go with the alternate, but I think it'll be too much of a clash. I actually think playing our home kit is probably the best play there. Okay, so our first piece of... Of opportunity to get a piece of silverware here. Vidal, Brozovic, Barella, a very strong interside steal. They are playing a three at the back formation. So hopefully playing with the back uh, flat four will be good for us. You, yeah, I, I would nearly recommend, particularly on legendary and ultimate difficulty, when you play in Syria, play with a four at the back because a lot of teams play and try to overload you with three. So, look, it doesn't really matter if you're playing on professional world class. You can just play whatever you want. Because the AI doesn't really cheat crazily all that much. But yeah, a back four I quite like in the Italian league. Sandro looking to bring the ball forward. Might have to go the way himself. <laughs> He's put it into the crowd. Back up the other end. Ivan Perisic looking to bring the ball in. Oh, big interception by Arthur. Dabala with a nice little scoop. Again with Kulisevsky. One Cadrado on a yellow in the box. Couldn't release the shot. Might have even been a block as well. Juventus with two very early opportunities. The former Chelsea man. Oh, hit right at the top of the boot of Skriniar. And the ball goes flying into the crowd. Ball in. Morata. Great header. Arthur. Look at this. Holding the ball so well. Dabala. Nice ball over the top to Kulisevsky. On the header, the Swede! How's he missed that? We're playing some fantastic football here, but we just can't seem to put the ball on target. We're in the back of the net. Dabala fouled brilliantly there. Kept on going, has taken the pen. He nearly dodged it and went all the way, but I'm happy he dropped there. Look at that. Big slide tackle coming in. He actually kept his footing probably a lot more. Than what he would like. Okay, so we've got a penalty here against Handanovic. I'll get the baller to step up. We'll go top right where we can. The baller steps up. Oh, and I've put it into the crowd. Oh, how have I done that? The baller missing a penalty. Wants to correct his wrong. Morata as well. Oh, we are just so off target at the moment. The finishing of this Juventus side I thought would be better. That could potentially be a red there though. Nope, it is a yellow there for Stefan de Frey. No, it's Brozovic. Locatelli. Ball in. Oh, great volley to Chiesa. Man, we've been all over Inter. Barella. Inter. Look dangerous here. First real opportunity. And of course they score. 1-0. I feel like we've been robbed in this match. Hmm. I, I, I kind of like this formation because you can play with four players up top. But I feel like without playing a midfield three, I feel just so exposed. I quite like having an attacking midfielder. And two midfielders to hold. Ah, oh, the Barella. And a massive breakaway. Yeah, you just cut right through the middle. Of um, Dumfries. Oh, Inter might be in again. Big block is had to be made by Delict. Brozovic now. Ball in. Oh, come on. Moise Keen fresh off the bench. Slips through Dabala. Come on, you need to finish this. And he does. Dabala finally corrects his penalty wrong thanks to 
A top-notch assist by Moisey Keane. I'd love to see his blue hair. Oh, there's a Ronaldo banner <laughs> in the crowd. Why you? Why you got that going? You bring that banner down. I, I have a feeling it's a a legacy banner from last year's mod. But the baller, the captain now at Juventus, has made it one-one. Chiesa. Oh, I'd rather not go to pens. Hang on, we've got a massive opportunity here. Rabio to Kulisevsky in the 90th minute off the post. Oh, we've been very fortunate there. <laughs> Kulisevsky, the great next Swede, makes it 2-1. Rips out the motorbike as well and celebrates in front of the Juventus faithful. Oh, my God. The only way to beat Handanovic is off a ricochet. Why did you hit it with your right boot? That's what I want to know. Missed it with the right and hooked and, and got it back with the left. That is such a fortunate <laughs> ricochet there. And 2-1. We've won it in the dying moments there. Dybala and Kulisewski beat Inter. Well, that's it. The full-time whistle is blown. We have managed to one in pretty crazy circumstances, but we well deserve that one. That match could have very well been, I don't know, 3-1, 4-2. We missed a lot of opportunities, and Handanovic is a fantastic goalkeeper for Inter between the two sticks. And this has given us a huge morale boost and a bit of a taste and a tease going into Season 1 that we can get to a final, we can miss a bunch of shots and play poorly in the first half and progress and continue and ultimately go and win a trophy. Dybala, the new captain at the club, lifts the Italian Super Coppa. Hopefully he's not as injury prone as he is in real life and sort of can knuckle down, play consistent first team football and then he's star and world-class quality can shine on through. Stop Twitch streaming and <laughs> focus on your football. <laughs> I kid and kid. You can do both. <laughs> but yeah, Juventus have won the Super Cup. Oh, but how good does this look in FIFA 22? I'm so happy that we can actually play with licensed teams. <laughs> and... Thankfully, this time around, the Realism Mod has come out super early as well. So I do recommend it. Go and pick it up. And join the Discord and Patreon. And there's all these updates as well. Like, why not? If you've already got the PC version of FIFA. Or people ask me as well, what do I play FIFA on as well? Um, I think, yeah, I do have it on Origin. But you can get it on Steam as well. As long as you've got a decent PC for it. If you're playing off a laptop, I don't know if you'd be able to play FIFA, to be honest. You'd have to do a performance test and there's like a app isn't there can i play this game that you can run on anyway first match of the season we've managed to pick up a really decent victory there kulisevsky uh Chiesa picks up a top performance all righty so here's the league table before we get things going Rightio then, guys. Let's get stuck into the first match of the season against Spezia. We're playing at the Allianz Arena, of course, at our home stadium. And then we've got Chelsea and some Champions League fixtures coming up next month as well. So the Allianz Stadium, yeah, because the Allianz Arena is the uh, stadium in... Uh, yeah, Bayern Munich. That's Bayern Munich Stadium, isn't it? All right, let's get stuck into them. Hopefully... We can get the dub against them. They are, well, they're not doing too well in real life. They're currently sitting in 17th place. They're relegation fodder, potentially. But, uh, yeah, hopefully Dybala can step up. He's had a pretty decent season this year. Let's go. Chiesa. Oh. All right. Foul at the edge of the box there. Yellow card. Okay. Um, Dybala's our best free kick taker. But I don't know if he's going to get the angle there because he's left-footed. We'll try and get it up and over the wall. 24 yards out, just for the fourth minute. Dabala steps up and 
Okay, it killed a lot, but it didn't have enough on it. Morata to Chiesa going forward now. Ball into Dybala. Ah, oh, couldn't get it on the volley. Man, hopefully we don't pick up Juventus' form like in real life because <laughs> currently in seventh at the time of recording, which is crazy. They're a mid-table side. Chiellini, Arthur, Juventus trying to build something up here. The ball. Oh, Morata over the top. Chiesa! <gasps> oh, my God. Nearly goal of the season already. A crazy, cracking volley from Chiesa. Going forward there. Yeah, because this formation, it's a 4 triple 2 but then it goes into a 4-2-4 four, four at some point. Look at this ball distribution by Morata there. Cool as a cucumber. Finds Chiesa up and over the top. We overloaded them with four forwards. And it's a crazy volley at home against Spezia. Against a relegated side, potentially. We've scored a glorious goal there with Chiesa. For his first goal of the season. Yeah, we've got to make this deal permanent for him. Spezia on the attack. Trying to create something from nothing. Ball into the box. Switch on, boys. Off the post. Narrowly den denied. Spezia have looked quite good after this. Half from Chiesa's goal. Ball in. Good clearance, Delict. Chiesa, looking for his second, driving the football forward, chops back like Ronaldo, couldn't release the football unfortunately, and it's been cleared out for a throw in. Oh, good interception, Arthur, Morata, oh we're just flooding players forward there, Dabal has been caught out the back and it's a goal, 2-0, we are running away with it. A bit against Spezia. Cool, calm and collected. Dabala puts his name on the score sheet. Probably been Juventus' best player this season. He's had some really good performances. But it's just his injury record, man. He's just a little bit prone to it. We just need the rest of the boys to lift. Okay. Oh, Chiellini with the flying slide tackle. Oh, I just mistimed that one slightly. It's going to be a yellow, thankfully. Could have very well been a red. Corner kick now for Spezia. Ball into the box. Get it clear. Try to clear it right into the pot. Oh, my God. It's, it's offside? No, nah, it's a goal. Oh, I cleared and it. I tried to clear and really kick the player. Spezia answer here at Turin against the old lady. 2-1. They broke Chesney's clean sheet. Kind of unsure about Chesney. Haven't played with him too much over the last couple of years. Morata to Dybala to Kulisevsky. Needs to go. And he does. Puts his laces through it. What a strike from Kulisevsky there. It's 3-1 against Spezia. We've answered and recovered so, so quickly. Awesome stuff. What a beautiful goal, actually. An outstanding pass from Dybala to send him through. He picks up a goal and assist. And Kulisevsky picks up a goal. I'd love Morata to pick up one. Then my entire front four has picked up a goal in this match. Morata scoops it. Dybala, Kulisevsky again. A rap story on the move from Sassuolo. He could be a potential player we could pick up in January. A lot of decent Italians. Dybala for his second. And he's made it 4-1 there. We've probably put this match without a shadow of a doubt now. What a strike. A stick of dynamite off the boot of Dybala there. That is just sensational for his second goal of the match. He's got a brilliant brace and an assist. Unfortunately, Morata hasn't picked up a goal and stepped up. So we'll bring on Keane. Just to give him some competition. We'll also bring on Danilo as well. Spezia. Back on the attack. Oh, nearly make it 4-2. Ball in. Good clearance. Oh, big save by Chesney. Yeah. 
like I said, I'm kind of unsure about him because he is aging, but he's still, he, he has a leaky goal in him here and there. Another ball in. Good grab, and that's it. We've managed to start our Syria Italian League campaign with a solid, solid performance in victory against Spezia. 4-1. So we are currently scoring quite well. But I do feel we're being... Yeah, we, we, we gave Spezia too many chances, to be honest. Oh my god, defenders to watch. All Manchester City players. <laughs> Pep has got uh, them drilled on in. Okay, so yeah. It's nearly... I, I put the formation of 4 2 It's nearly a 4-2-4 that it tends to be. Um, I want to change the formation. I've played two matches now, and I feel like we can, we're can we leaking goals and we're giving them too much opportunity. If we didn't have someone like Chesney between the sticks, we probably would be conceding more. So I want to go with a 4-2-3-1. I think that will be more solid for us. So I think what I'll do is we'll bring Morata as the striker. We'll make him the folk. With the focal point, the fulcrum of the team. Dabala just behind him in the cam, ready to interchange. And Chiesa and Kulisevsky on the left and right. And we'll keep Locatelli and Arthur in the mid. Alright, so we had a match against Empoli away. We managed to beat them 2-0 with our new formation. And then we've got the September calendar coming up. Roma, Chelsea, Atalanta, just to name a few. Alrighty, so after two games played, we sit on six points. Torino is currently top of the table, followed by AC Milan in second, Udinese in four, Calgary in fifth, Roma in sixth, and Roma in seventh, thanks to Dusan Flavic. He's having an amazing season this year, Serie A's top goal scorer. But anyway, let's get stuck into a fully licensed Atalanta, which are in this as well. Really good team. They've got an amazing youth academy. Like, I, I saw some stat that like in the last Euros some of like the best players across the like stats wise and performance wise they were all either from the Atalanta Youth Academy setup or they were actually playing for them so they would be a really fun career mode to potentially play Locatelli Dabala new formation testing out for the first time let's see how we go Morata's caught him over the top there oh it's a clean cut goal as well all right, 1-0 just before the 13th minute there. Thanks to Morata. He seems to be way more clinical than he was at Chelsea. And it's taken an over-the-top through ball. A little bit cheeky from the Barlow, of course. Oh, but he's caught them at the back there. Once again, Atalanta playing a three at the back formation. Probably pushing way too many players forward, to be honest. But Morata, if he can get that finishing on point, not the quickest striker. He should be a pretty decent target man. Dabala. Morata wants to go again here, but he just needs to watch his run. He's been caught over the top to Chiesa, like the match against Spezia. Another goal. I don't know why we have scored two <laughs> volleys over the top there. I've just found so much space. Like, along the deck, they must be, like, really closely man-marking each other's feet. They're just like, look at this, over the top with pace. We've managed to make it a whopping 2-0 against Atalanta. We're drumming them. There's a lot of good players at Atalanta. Maybe we should bring in someone like Guzans for Sandro, maybe. Even Hatabor as well. Amazing in my buying series. Oh, running forward there. Can actually go quite confidently forward, Hatabor. Maybe we should bring him for like one Quadrado. Penalty given. Chesney with a big save. 2-0 for now. Locatelli wins the football brilliantly. Kulisevsky releases the ball quickly. Dabala over the top to Chiesa. Nice little bit of skill. That should be a red card. But Morata is going to... <laughs> oh my god. Drill it across the deck. And I haven't played with Morata too much in career mode over previous years. Because last year when I was playing as Juventus... Obviously, they had the man, the myth, the legend, Cristiano Ronaldo up top. And Morata tends to get dropped. But he's... Look at this. That's a really nice, clean and tidy finish. I kind of feel bad for his time at Chelsea and Atletico being rejected. Moriel. Guzins. Big tackle by Sandro. 
Can we get one last late goal here? Oh, Morata's on a hat trick. He shoots, he scores. 4 0. And that's game, set, match. I don't believe Atalanta are probably going to come back into it. So that's good for Morata. Look, we could even sell him on in January. I seem to be playing well with him. But um, there are better strikers for his evaluation. So at the end of that match, we managed to beat them 4 0. Alrighty, Champions League, let's go. Group H, Chelsea, Malmo, and Camber. I think it's a Scottish side. I think it's randomly generated because, yeah, they don't have the actual team. Alright, so we're going away all the way to London to face Chelsea at Stamford Bridge. They've banged up <laughs> Juventus a fair few times in the Champions League real life, so hopefully we can get better quality... Champions League form than in real life. Um, what kit should I use? I might have to use the home kit again. Oh, we might go with the away. I do want to try and use the kits, but it's just the clash. Yeah, because it's like, I want to try and use the away kits, but uh, this, they seem to be clashing quite a bit. Anyway, Lukaku, Hakim Ziyech, and Timo Werner up top. A pretty prominent front three. So let's get stuck into Thomas Tuchel's side. Oh, we've got Jorginho here. Maybe that's someone we could... Potentially bring on in as well. Finishing third in the Ballon d'Or in real life after Messi winning it. Followed by Robert Lewandowski. Robbed Robert Lewandowski. It's a bit pathetic that they ended up giving him a striker charge trophy. They should have just given him in the Ballon d'Or, to be perfectly honest. I can't believe they did that to him. Did him dirty. Kulusevski back to Morata against his former side. At the bridge... Oh, straight at Mendy. He's keen to prove the Chelsea faithful wrong, Morata. Kulusevski back on the ball. Into Morata. Can't turn silver. Oh, he does in the end. But Mendy with a superb save. It could very well be 1-0, 2-0 up to Juventus. Morata with a cracking strike. He did score some pretty good-looking goals, Morata, at Chelsea, but... The volume just wasn't enough. Kante! Oh, Angula Conte has made it 1-0 there just before the 28th. In the pouring rain at the bridge. The Blues have gotten the better of us there after sort of stopping an assault from us. Come on, let's try and build things up from the back, boys. Oh, no. We've been intercepted there. Lukaku! <gasps> wow. Chesney had to go full stretch. Second half now, Chilwell. Shame he's had a massive injury in real life. Looking to drive the football in and can't. Oh, Lukaku got to it. Someone get to it, please. Thankfully. And Conte to Timo Werner now. A lot of space there. Chesney with a save. Former Arsenal man, Chesney. I'm sure he's happy to be down in London. But, oh, he needs to play well against the Blues. My God. 1-0 down against Chelsea. Could very well be 2 or 3, to be honest. And it very well might be, and it is. Romelu Lukaku makes it 2-0 in the 85th minute. All right. We're dominating the Italian league, but our Champions League form is terrible. Massive defeat here. Wanted to start off our Champions League campaign well, but we've lost to Chelsea there. Look, I think we're okay because I think we're better than Malbo. Malmo. So we should progress, but maybe in second. All right, back in the league, we managed to pick up a 2-0 victory after our defeat to Chelsea. And we also had a match against Bologna there as well. Danilo picking up the goal. All right, so after five games played, we're currently undefeated along with Roma, we have 15 points. They have 11. Okay, so this is a battle for first place, really. Oh, no, they're mathematically not going to get it. But it will set us back, and we will lose our unbeaten record. We face Jose Mourinho's Roma. Let's get stuck into them. Fully licensed as well. Tammy Abraham looks so good in that Roma kit, of course. Um... Should we go with the alternate kit or the away? Yeah, look, you know what? Let's play in this. I think it's a little bit ghastly, to be honest. I don't know if I like the look of it. But anyway, Jose Mourinho is playing a flat, a flat four at the back formation, which is cool. 
And then they've got Tammy Abraham up top. So we're going down to the Eternal City, the capital of the Roman Empire. We're playing Roma. This should be good. Let's get stuck into them. Morata on the ball. Chiesa. Oh, couldn't release the football. Arthur. Trying to drive the football going. Oh, Morata with a brilliant turn. Come on. Juventus. Oh, we put it wide at the post. Chesney. Brings it out from the back with a good little dribbler. I've brought Danilo into the defense. And I kind of like it. Because Chiellini just isn't quick enough. Dybala now. Come on, Dybala. Oh. 1-0, just before the 34th. We've managed to break the deadlock here, and Jose Mourinho has conceded uh, a crappy goal under his standards. But a decent finish in the end by Dabala. The captain has stepped up with an inch-perfect goal, and we have cut through Roma's defense like carving a cake. 1-0. Good stuff, Dabala. Tammy Abraham, got to watch out for him. Really good player. Zaniolo. What a pass across my D. My defense. Good block there. El Shawari. Looking to bring the ball in. A career mode legend over the last couple of years. Decade, really. El Shawari again. To Tammy Abraham. Oh my god. Just wide from Inzonzi. Spinozola. Terrible what happened with his career with that injury. That's another player we could potentially bring in. Oh my god, what a strike there by Pellegrini. Morata, Chiesa, Juventus on the counter attack now. On the inside to Kulisevsky. Great goal. 2 0. We're away against Jose Mourinho's Roma. And it looks like we're going to hopefully hold on, continue. To our unbeaten run. Juventus make it 2-0. Away in Rome. In Roma. Bon appetito. Oh, Mayor Real. Oh, huff the crossbar. And it falls favorably to Pellegrini. Hopefully at this point, it is no more than a consolation goal for Jose Mourinho's Roma. But they've managed to smash through Chesney's clean sheet. Yeah. The thing is, he's got a lot of aging players in this squad. We might need to replace and rebuild in the future. Let me know. Pellegrini. Oh, no. Here we go. Roma look dangerous here again. Pellegrini. He's just going for these crazy long shots. But Chesney is tracking them all day. Ball in now. Smalling. Big grab. Moise Keane fresh off the bench. Misses that. Alrighty. Well, we've managed to hold on to a solid victory here. At Rome. Maratta. That was actually a terrible miss there in the 21st. Crikey. Okay. So we currently sit rock bottom of our Champions League group. My God. So, we've managed to beat Malmo 2-1 here. Hopefully, we can regrain some ground and finish second comfortably. All right, back in the October calendar, we've got Inter, Lazio, and a couple decent sides to come. So, after six games played, we have six wins. We're undefeated on 18 points. Lazio are now in second. Roma, fifth. And Venezia and Spezia in the relegation zone. Alrighty, let's get stuck into match day seven in the Italian league. We face Inter Milan, a team we beat earlier on in the season in the Super Cupa. Hopefully we can do the same. Yeah, so I've changed up my defense. I've brought in Danilo just for the pace um, because we still lack a quick center back. I don't think, particularly on this difficulty, that Chiellini or Bonucci are up to snuff to be honest but anyway we're going to be hosting Inter Milan at the Allianz Stadium let's get stuck into them it's going to be a good one hopefully we can continue our unbeaten run could you imagine being undefeated trying to win the Scudetto the invincible Scudetto hopefully we can try and do it 
Brozovic to Chernoglu. Vidal, Dzeko, Vidal, Dzeko again. Um, okay, that was some fantastic fiery football there. Surprising technical ability from Vidal. He can pull that out of his locker from time to time. But uh, Ed and Dzeko still got it, man, <laughs> at his age. What a crazy striker he is. Arthur to Dybala. Back on the inside to Morata. Couldn't flick it on. And they're just going to bomb it up to Martinez and Dzeko. Oh, they've actually caught me there. Oh, no. Oh, it's a goal. Um, well, this could be it. 2-0 down. Letaro Martinez has caught Delict out of position. Oh my god, we are just getting smashed here. Inter have come to party and parlay. Lautaro, Vidal, Dzeko to Christian Eriksen. Great to see him playing some football. But Dzeko, oh my god. We've conceded three amazing great goals just before the 30th. This could be an absolute rout. Come on, we need to answer with something. Just even like a little bit of dignity. Dabala, Arthur, Locatelli. Let's go again. Come on. Great working of the football. And we've recovered. Maybe at this point only a consolation goal. But Morata has made it 3-1. My God, we really had to sweat with that. Look at these passing lanes. Can go there. Nice little flick on. Morata drills it past Handanovic. Danilo wins the football. They really want vengeance after that Supercopa. dzeko has been playing some great football today. He was even rumoured to be joining Juventus at one point. But I think he opted to go for Inter. Dabala, here we go again. Betting one. To Morata. Go on, Morata, please. Oh, dude. He's actually playing really well for me. Um, yeah. He's a bit slower. He's not the best. The thing is, he's not worth his evaluation. Look, I reckon in FIFA, if I was to say, hey, should you get Morata for your career mode? Uh, if you can get him for like 20, 30 mil, maybe. But he's just an all-round solid player. Heading, finishing, not the best pace, but he's good on the ball. 3-2, Barella. Come on, let's close this down. We can't concede, particularly now in the 70th. But Inter are playing some good football. Dzeko, with a nearly another screamer. Ball in now, trying to find Stefan de Frey. They can't, Brozovic, Grignier to Dzeko. They nearly went and got it, to be honest. Uh, Inter is time-wasting now. That's it, unfortunately. After we managed to pick up two goals, it was really all for nothing. As Inter Milan... Break our unbeaten run. It was coming at some point, to be honest. So we're still currently top of the um, Serie A, but Inter are now second. All right. We went and had a match against Udinese, and we managed to beat them 2-1, thanks to a late brace by Dabala. De La Feu picked up a goal. All right. Back in the Champions League, we managed to beat Camber... 3-1. Okay, so we're still at top, but we're drawing thanks to a game in hand with Milan. And we've got a match here against Lazio as well. So we'll go down to Rome once again, hopefully to pick up another win. Immobile is currently the top goal scorer with eight goals, so we're going to have to watch out for that. He's had a pretty decent season as well. The amount of shots he's generated in real life is kind of outstanding. So, oh, it's actually, no, we're not going to Rome. We're hosting the Roman side. Oh, my bad. But they've been fully licensed as well. Pedro, one of the only players in recent memory to go from Roma to Lazio. A little bit controversial. Immobile, Luis Alberto, a lot of good players. But we need to sort of recover our top six form. To be honest, we want to be able to beat as many of the top dogs as we can. Because it's ultra-competitive Syria. The baller on the ball, at home, drills it in. Morata just over the crossbar. Man, oh man, good header just offline. 
The ball up back on the football. History beckons for Immobile, but the ball is going to say something about it. Oh my god, I just have to go for it there. <laughs> that was an crazy strike by Dabala. I got pressed down there. Very limited opportunities. I just had to go for it. And he's probably scored the longest goal of the season. Look at this. He just had to release at this point because he would have been tackled. And he was running out of that sprint and speed boost. But he's absolutely shot a cannon at Strakosha. He's rifled it on past him. And it was a brilliant strike for him to score. Bang on number seventh goal of the season for him. Dabala back on the ball. Finding Arthur this time who's going forward. Morata. And Dabala has been slipped on through. Hits the post. And Morata with the follow-up shot as well. Terrible. Delict trying to build it up from the back. Dabala has been playing well. But he has missed. Oh my god, what a ball to Chiesa here though. That was crazy. Chiesa back at it. Oh, puts it wide as well. I struggle with the finishing of this Juventus side. Like, we, we get into the right positions, but we need to probably improve our finishing on the training pitch, boys. Morata, Chiesa again. Good block by Strakosha and the Lazio defense. Ball in, Chiesa. To someone, come on, get the ball in. Nope. Savage. Trying to stop him, Delict. No. Immobile. Pedro. Oh, my God. 1-0 narrowly. We need another goal desperately. Arthur. The baller. Puts it in the back of the net. 2-0. We managed to score a brace there. Finally getting that second goal. <laughs> it was coming. It was going to take quite a bit. So, yeah, already I just feel so confident playing with this better quality formation. The 4-2-3-1. The 4-2-2 in midfield and defense. And like a, the 4-2-4 going forward just let me a little bit open. Oh my god, look at that curling away. Brilliantly into the top left past Strakosha. Great goal. Lazio want to try and answer quickly. Lucas Leva, Immobile, scoops it to Alberto. And that's a brilliant finish by Lazio there. Creating some good football there to answer. Wow. That was an absolute beauty, actually. <laughs> Snatch and grab here, to be honest, at our defense end. You've really got to take your. Opportunities where you can, and the Lazio Ultras there, just super happy with that goal, finally. Danilo. He can actually play centre-back, which is decent. He's quick enough about it. He's quite a tall fullback as well, standing at just under six foot. But the ball has gone up the other end and made that goal count for nothing. 3-1, just before the 64th. So, we're still continuing on our winning ways. Building Juventus back up. But we seem to be doing alright against the Roma sides. Dabala. Tackled in the end. Lazio trying to do something. Immobile. Come on, put in a tackle in, boys. Another crazy goal there. Man, it's always so annoying how many long shots you concede in this game. Kind of ridiculous. But that's ultimate difficulty for you. That's what it's going to do to you. Alright, it's time to make some subs. Um, let's bring on... Bernadeschi. I haven't needed Rabio or Ramsey. There may be people we can move on as well. I haven't found McKenny as well. I kind of like to take the Nuno and Bielsa approach. I like my starting 11. And I like to have a triple substitution or three. Um, that are more attacking focused, but yeah, I don't, I don't tend to replace the centre backs and the midfielders on too much of an occasion, unless I really want to hold on to a win like this. Bernadeschi looking to stamp his authority on the match. Signed a new contract, so he's not leaving in January, but he's going all the way here, and oh, nearly somehow finds the football into the back of the net there. 
But unfortunately, Strakosha thought otherwise. Parrying, even the follow-up <laughs> was terrible. And does a crazy dive there, Bernadeschi. Lazio looking for the late winner in the 90th. Can they get it? Milinkovic, Savage, Johnny. Come on, stop it. Escalante. Oh, and they got it. Ah, uh, that's a joke. I don't even know what to say. What? It was like the same goal as well. All off the crossbar, like nearly missing. How have we drawn to Lazio there? Uh, it's one of those matches where it's kind of written. Look at this. Holding possession, no tackles going in. And Chesney can't get to it. You saw that coming from a mile away, though. Look at that. Yeah, he was he was marking it. He was on it. Oh, if people don't believe there's scripting and momentum in this game, more so momentum. Um, you're having a laugh if you don't believe that because there definitely is, particularly on the higher difficulties. It's more pronounced. Ah, oh, we just got momentum. Look at this. Five expected goals to their two. We deserve to win that match. We just got robbed because we we're running away with it in the league. Uh, we had a match against Calgary. We managed to pick up the three points this time thanks to Locatelli and Dabala. Followed by a home match against Sampdoria. And Chiesa was the only goal scorer in that one. All right, back in the Champions League now. We've managed to beat Campbell 4-2. And we've probably cemented our second place, to be honest. Okay, so Locatelli can be brought into a central midfielder, which is good. I'd rather him not be a defensive midfielder for the rest of his career. And Chiesa can be brought on the left. He was already on the right for some reason, so he can properly play on the left side now and get a nice little stat boost for him. Yeah, I like him on the left, cutting inside on his right, and Kulisevsky playing on the right, cutting in on his left. All right, Danilo can actually can be converted to a centre back. Yeah, he's, look at this, decent pace, six foot, decent defending. He's actually one of our better centre backs. So we'll convert him there now. He's going to get the stat boost, and him partnering up with Delict is probably going to be our two. We probably could look to bring in another centre back as well. We'll just have to see how we go. Also, um, Dabala, I was making him a striker, but I changed my mind just because we changed the formation of the team. So I'll make him a cam and attacking midfielder. But we could always make him a striker in the future if we have to. Um, Everton have been in touch about Moisey Keane's performances. Yeah, well, I've been playing him in the 75th minute, but not consistently. Okay, so we could try and make this deal permanent. I don't know if we've got the funds, though. We've only got $25 million, so it's going to have to be a player plus cash deal. I think Moise Keane is probably the future at the club. But Morata was playing really well. I could not drop him. Uh, we just don't have enough money to sign all three. Chiesa, Morata, and Locatelli. Uh, Chiesa, uh, Morata, Kane. Um, look, Rafa, how about I give you a player in January and we'll sign Moise Keane on a permanent deal here. How does that sound? So there's a fair few options, a lot worth as well. So I haven't been playing Bonucci much this season, Rafa. I will give you £20 million plus Bonucci for the services of Moise Keane. They want £70 million for Moise Keane. Okay, so he's already worth £43 million. I think that's kind of insane. So how about Ramsey for £20 million? They want fifty. I don't think we're going to be able to get Moisey Keane for this series. Maybe until season two, because he just costs too much. 25 mil? 50. Wow. Yeah, because that was the decision. Morata or Keane? And I made the decision to go with uh, Morata on a permanent, because that's where that 39 mil went. Shame. All right, we had a match against Sassuolo away. We managed to beat them 1 0 thanks to Morata. Okay, so we've heard back from Everton, and it still doesn't look likely that this deal is going to go through. I can maybe try and offer someone else. Maybe Chiellini. That's a big ask. Um, yeah, I just, I just don't know if we're going to be able to get this deal done. I think it's kind of crazy that the AI wants 43 mil for Moise Keane, but that's the realism mod, I guess. Maybe Rabio. I haven't even been playing him. Like, he's a really good player. For 10 mil plus Rabio, like 
Are they even open to something like that? Oh, okay, they want 40 million plus Rabio. Yeah, we're being sort of extorted here by Everton. I just don't think we're going to be able to get the deal done. So unfortunately for this Juventus career mode, it looks like Moise Keane is going to be recalled to Everton and we're not going to be able to play with him. We've managed to beat Genoa here 3-2 after the disappointing acquisition or trying acquisition of Moise Keane. And now we sit second in our Champions League group with nine points. Chelsea at top. We're definitely going to go through. And there's no point of playing against Chelsea because it's the last match of the Champions League. We've already qualified. So Dybala, Delict picking up the goal with Pulisic. So we're going to get a harder team in the knockout rounds of the Champions League because we didn't finish top of our group. But we should be all right. We've shown some resilience and come back to it. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. Episode 1 of the FIFA 22 Juventus career mode. I am open to signing some players in January, so let me know players you would like me to sign. Could do with a right back, left back, centre back, and maybe some reinforcements up front as well. But yeah, stay tuned for episode 2 coming out tomorrow of the fully licensed Realism Mod Juventus career mode. Alright guys, take care. I'm going to play the outro now. Unfortunately, it's time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Check out my social media links in the description below if you'd like to stay connected with me. Got to say a huge thank you to my patrons and channel members. Victor K, Sebastian C, Jordan K, Caesar L, Brian S, Tal, Liam B, Kyle P, Tom C, and Wyatt P. So thanks guys, my name is Ben Simsey, much love from Australia, goodbye.